Liza Soberano said that she's surprised that people call her Hope in public instead of her stage name. It's actually very surprising to me because now, when I go out, people call me Hope. I've been to concerts and stuff, and people would scream Hope. Hope. I love Elwa name and everything, but now I was like, oh Elwa God. I was so misunderstood, Liza said in recent interview with Esquire. She added that people even comment on her Instagram account asking her, W her name is still Liza, like, this is not what I want. I still want to be known as Liza, the actress set the record straight. The Emily X and W Twilight star explained how she felt her name Hope was one of the biggest things that got misconstrued since her controversial vlog in late February, where she discussed how she truly felt about her career in general. In the YouTube video dubbed, This is me, she said. I know this was for Emily's own good. It was to protect me and Amber's career. But it was a career I had no say in. A career that in many ways wasn't mine. I didn't even choose the name Liza. It was chosen for me. When I brought that up in Amber's vlog, I was like, the name Liza wasn't a name that I chose for myself. I wasn't saying that I didn't like it. I was just stating a fact. A lot of people don't know that I didn't choose that name, she clarified. The local star also cited her video advertisement with the digital payments company as a possible reason behind the confusion. In the commercial, Lisa said, please, call me. At which point the video cut to a title card that read, Hope, before then transitioning to, Hope presents Liza. I feel like that kind of doubled down on that narrative, she said, but that's not what I meant. We were trying to be kind of meta with it, when I'm an actress, when you know I'm a public figure, I'm Liza. And then there's when I'm just being me or when I'm working on personal stuff, or even like when I'm producing, directing, because I'm not the star. So, I was kind of trying to show people that there are two sides of me. There's Liza, and there's Hope, she continued. Liza has polarized Filipinos with her recent career moves after signing with James Reed's record label Careless last year. This included netizens and the likes of OG Diaz and other Capamilia executives who felt betrayed. Diva her ungrateful words regarding her screen name, limited generous, love team setup, and recurring directors, among others. The actress opened up about that very stressful time. Recently when she received month-long negative attention, which forced her to leave the Philippines, honestly, I didn't imagine that things would turn out the way it did at the time. And honestly, that period was a very stressful time for me because I felt very misunderstood, Lisa said in the same interview. This led her to retreat abroad to find herself. And so, all I did then was I got away from the country. I came back here to the US to spend time with Emma family, and just kind of reconnect with myself. Liza sought to align herself with her purpose, mission, career, and her life in general. I felt in a way, more or less, like, I didn't belong anywhere. I felt like I was being outcasted, the Alone Together star confessed. While admitting that she was, sad, about the way things turned out, the former Capamilia star found, hope in her experience but like it's also a learning lesson you know everything that had happened for reason and there was some bad but there was also some good and i'm just going to take everything that i learned from that and kind of become better liza concluded oh, can i go in liza has been fulfilling work commitments in the philippines and the united states since last year she previously revealed she's looking to make waves in the international scene as an actress. Her first Hollywood movie project titled Lisa Frankenstein was announced in August 2022 at 22.